Welcome, combatants, to another day in the arena. It's your boy James, aka NeuralNet Games, and today I am bringing you my bloody massacre deck. It's based around casting a bunch of creatures with Voldaren Bloodcaster, wiping the board with Path of Peril or the Meat Hook Massacre, creating a ridiculous amount of blood tokens, and doing a huge amount of damage with the Blood Artist, and then also having a ton of blood tokens to finish them off with Sanguine Brushstroke. And this deck is so powerful. Vingy Partners, this deck here, you asked for it. Um... It deals with aggro super, super well, and it has so much power into the late game. You're going to see epic things where I wipe the board with like six or eight creatures. <laughs> I can't remember exactly. And I have two blood artists out and I just do, I completely turn a game. I have an epic showdown with an is it deck that is running the new card that the six mana uh, something into the future just I don't know I can't remember what it's called anyways it's six mana you draw you seek three cards and it reduces the cost by one I have an epic match you gotta watch the footage it's so good so what we're trying to do is build up a board have at least one blow uh Voldaren Bloodcaster and then wipe the board, destroy all of our opponent's creatures, do a ton of damage like I just said. So, blood fountains. Three of these. Why? So, first, we create a blood token to use to dig. We can dig so hard in this deck with blood tokens. Then, it procs so well with a deadly dispute. In a pinch, we can actually sack the blood fountain to it, but normally, we're actually going to deadly dispute our uh, blood tokens which are also artifacts so lots of card draw we've got four blood chiefs thirst this is to control aggro decks early on we've got four restless blood seekers because they're actually very good in this deck with the the meat hook massacres and the sanguine breaststroke uh blood artist right whenever a creature dies we get to lose one life and gain one life so whenever we gain life we are making more blood tokens and then we have the four Voldaren Bloodcasters flying to one. Whenever Voldaren Bloodcaster or another non-token creature you control dies, create a blood token. And then if we have five or more blood tokens, it transforms. That's not the point of the deck. If that happens, fine. But mostly the Voldaren Bloodcaster there is out there to die <laughs> and create a bunch of blood tokens. It's really its main purpose. If it does turn into the blood bat summoner, you get to just start, you know, making a little hasty bats and attacking, but that never really happened to me. Three meat hook massacres just combined so well with sanguine breaststroke. Three Falcon Wrath Forebear. These guys are actually really good because the ability where you bring them back from the graveyard is just money in this deck because you get to sacrifice two blood tokens for only one mana. And that is a major advantage when you're trying to get damage and do some other stuff because sometimes you have to spend your mana, you know, getting your creatures back with the blood fountain or something. And just so you know, the blood fountain, when you sacrifice it, return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. When you play Sanguine Breaststroke, the Blood Artist is going to be the number one target. It goes into your graveyard afterwards, and this is to bring it back. Can you imagine you you bring out two of these, both the Blood Artists die, whoop, back with the Blood Fountain. Very nice synergy there. Um, and then the Gluttonous Guest, whenever you sacrifice a Blood Token, you gain one life. So like between Meat Hook Massacre, Sanguine Breaststroke, and Gluttonous Guest, we are gaining a lot of life. And here is the key card, the key card right here. You're going to have early control over aggro decks. So Blood Chiefs plus this means you can just pretty much destroy most aggro decks because, you know, wiping out all their two mana value creatures is so good. And if we have Blood uh, Voldaren Bloodcasters and Restless Bloodseekers out, we just get to wipe the board and create so many blood tokens. <laughs> like... Uh, it's so good. It's so, so good. You could take this even further and really just go all in on having creatures and wiping your own creatures. If you were to do that, you would take out Blood Chief's Thirst and the Fountain probably and put in seven more cheap creatures. I almost went that way and I think maybe that's uh, a future build. Because if you can wipe the board and get six or eight blood tokens and have even one of these sanguine brush strokes out, you're probably going to win the game. 
Like I was getting up, you know, 25, 30 life all the time. No problem. Even though people are attacking me and like, and, and I'm, you're also doing damage to them at the same time. So, I mean, it's just so beautiful. Three hive of the eye tyrant, two field of rune to take care of their man lands, 14 swamps, four shattered sanctum. So that if you, when you do get into the late game, cause this is mostly a control deck and you have path apparel, you can wipe the entire board when you need to. And usually if you've got one or two of these blood artists out and you wipe the board, you've pretty much won the game at that point. Like it's just, yeah, man, it's so, so, so good. Had a lot of fun with this. And there's just so much potential in these alchemy cards to do really fun things. Make sure you comment. Make sure you try the deck. Let me know how it goes. Vingy partners, hopefully this deck you know, works well for you. Make sure and comment. Always appreciate your comments. And let's get to it. Um... Okay, yeah, that's all right. We're on the draw, though, but that's okay in this deck. On the draw is not quite as bad. Our opponent can actually do something here. Nice, yeah, let's keep seven. This to this is pretty nice, right? Into a sanguine brush stroke. Should be pretty good. Oh yeah, they did nothing on turn two. It's just about over. <laughs> two hives. Oh, a tenacious pup. They get nothing? Oh yeah, it's way too slow a start for them. Create some treasure, draw just a bunch of land, three lands in a row. <laughs> so what's the play first then? Probably a gluttonous guest first, right? Yeah, probably a gluttonous guest first. And then we can play a sanguine next turn. Ooh, a reckless storm seeker. Oh no. <laughs> um, I think we'll probably just block the tenacious pup. I think uh, it makes sense for them to attack, right? So I don't think they're doing anything else with it. No need to take an extra point of damage when they don't really have a play. Okay, okay, let's play a sanguine brush stroke here. <clears throat> okay, last turn. Get a couple of those. No blocks. Okay, let's deadly dispute and hope we don't just get 8,000 lands here. Okay. Ooh, another sanguine. That's pretty good. Oh, we get a path of peril too. <laughs> um, except we don't have any of what we really want. Um, I want to play a sanguine and a fall in wrath. I think. Or do I want to just wipe the board here? I don't know. They have a lot of cards left. Um, I don't know. I guess I can just chump block here for a little bit too, right? Also, I can play this. I don't think they can kill me right away. No attacks. 
We will start blocking here with the gluttonous guest because uh, we do have two blood artists and two sanguine brother strokes out. <laughs> Pretty nice. I would be surprised if they managed to beat us here. Okay. Um, so I guess we just block trample, vigilance, haste. I think we actually want somebody to die here, don't we? Yeah. So let's block Tovalar. Them drawing cards is kind of bad. So I think we'll just do this, right? Make another blood token, right? Wipe the board. It's not gonna wipe everything, but it's gonna do a pretty decent amount. We don't want to get too far behind here. And then we're going to just create a bunch of blood tokens, right? <laughs> yep, that'll do. They're going to have to put a lot of damage on us. Next turn, we can kill them. They've got to put 21 damage on us here. 23, actually, to be technical. Throw that fella in the graveyard so we can sacrifice uh, two for free. Oh, nice. We're at 14, and they are dead. Wee <laughs> All right. That's how it's done. All right. Okay, <laughs> I'm on the draw again. I'm on the draw again. I just had a guy scoop on me. I was on the draw that game too. Let's go hive hive to a restless blood seeker. It's pretty good. This is pretty good against this, con this kind of deck. They don't very often have any way to deal with an enchantment. People are going to start running that two mana sorcery that can kill a creature in enchantment for sure. I should be running that actually, maybe too. Okay, Infernal Grasp. My Restless Bloodseeker. Not cool. Um, That's three mana, so it's not really going to help us. Getting a couple of these blood arts out is going to be really good. <laughs> Let's see what they do here. No blocks. Not yet. They're going to kill it. Two kill spells, a couple of good creatures. Man land. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> they have to decide what they want to do, though. Is it the Sanguine or is it the Blood Artist? I'm actually okay with that. Because when I wipe the board... So if we do the Deadly Dispute first, and then we can draw cards and play Sanguine. I know we lose out on a little bit of value there, but I still think it's just better to actually draw a bunch of cards here. Yeah, 
and then we can Voldaren. We can Path of Peril the next time. We can do some pretty good things. Hopefully they don't have any more kind of removal here. Another land is good for us. It means they've had six lands, which is more than they want. And they're getting pretty close to, you know, running out of gas. Binding of the old gods is one way they can get rid of this, for sure. Okay, so what is the play here? What is the play? I can play a Voldaren. Bloodcaster and have a blocker, right? I can just straight up Blood Chiefs their crack maw. I think that's the first play. I know they get another one, but it's going to give us a bunch of life and stuff, right? And we got we're going to have to get there anyways. I love this card so much. It's such a good card. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Pass the turn. I don't think we're going to sack this to the Sanguine because we got to save the Deadly Dispute here. And the creatures have Death Touch. We're kind of, kind of in a fairly bad spot here just because of the man lands too. <laughs> but now when we wipe the board, we wipe both of those. They just, no, nope, they don't want to attack with their man lands. Uh, four creatures die. We get eight life. They take eight damage if we wipe the board right now. If we wipe with the Voldaren Bloodcaster, we can probably take over the game. Oh, this is good. This is so good. Oh my god. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to be beautiful. This is why I built this deck. Um, I almost want to use it and dump the Deadly Dispute, but I think I'm just going to wait. Oh my god, this is so nasty. This is so nasty. <laughs> Kaboom! I'm gonna be doing a lot of clicking here. Can just allow you to click a lot more. <laughs> Again, we do what I demand. <laughs> that was sick. Huge, absolutely huge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, uh, I don't think I can keep this hand. What a, what a pile. Okay, yeah, that's really good. Keep six and we're going to go this way. Am I on the draw again? I wasn't paying attention. My blood. Oh, I'm on the play. This is one time I probably wouldn't mind being on the draw, actually. They get a Lunark veteran, Kate. Okay. Um, the question is, do I blood chiefs or Voldaren first? Probably just Vol Voldaren. They can't really get anything going on turn two with this life gain stuff. They usually need to get to turn three to get their little angel and stuff out, right? So, cleric of life's bond. Yeah, we'll kill. We'll kill that. Mm, yeah, I need to get another Voldaren going. Two damage. Let's 
play another Boldarin here. They have almost no killing though. That's the problem. This is actually kind of bad against this deck right now. Because <laughs> we don't have any way to create blood tokens right now. I almost want to block. Because it gets me two blood tokens and then I can deadly dispute one. Nah, not yet. Oh, for fart's sakes. Yeah. Let's attack with one. We'll hold one back. We'll block and we'll deadly dispute, I guess. This is not the way for me to win this game against the life gain deck, I will tell you that much. We just gotta survive until um, we can get our board wipes going and we got a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kind of a pain because they can save something that's got it. Uh, maybe I should wait one more turn actually, because I'm gonna need to block that cleric of life's bond. <sighs> you know what? I got one blocker. Get a couple of blood tokens going so I can dig if I need to here too. Okay, uh, gluttonous guest. Whenever you sack a blood token, you get life, right? Falconrath forebear is not what we need either. We need board wipes. So we are going to play a gluttonous guest. Yep, you can read the card. Just let it let it come down first. There you go. Another blood token. Uh, we're going to play a land. And um, the goal is not to get us to the bats unless it happens organically. Um, yeah, let's just sack one here. We got to go digging. Got to go digging for a board wipe. Come on. Let me get some life here from our gluttonous guest. Uh, Restless Bloodseeker is pretty good right now. Actually, so we're going to play it. Yeah, auto pay it. So we did gain life. They only have one card left here too, which is pretty good for us. And then we can start sacking. This is another good sacrifice uh, no mana sacrifice for blood tokens once we actually get our one of our win cons board wipes we have so many good things that we need right now we have so many good things that we should be drawing <laughs> okay we're still alive we're still going We can get some life. We can sacrifice blood tokens here too, right? Okay, yeah, let me get a voice of the blessed. This is a full board wipe though with path apparel. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful that if that happens. They get a pyre of heroes, yeah, that's fine too. I think we're in pretty good shape actually. We're okay. See what they do. I will just take it if they attack, right? Um, I could take it out though. They can just sack their Ollenbach escort, but I'm not necessarily against that. So if I go Gluttonous Guest and Bloodseeker, they take both and I get two more blood tokens. I don't think so. Not yet. Doesn't make sense yet. Take the four damage. This fool becomes flying pretty soon. We have one flying blocker, so we're going to have to save for that. It's your go, bud. <laughs> you have no cards and nothing to do. We can sack this and bring it back, too, if we want. Oh, that's bad for us. Okay, so we need to get to a board wipe here. Yeah, we gain one life. 
which means we get more blood tokens. We're going to go digging hard here. There's got to be a path of peril somewhere, right? Um, blood Chief's Thirst is also pretty good for us. We're going to dig again here. See what we get first. Get rid of this because we can bring it back from the dead when we need to. Yes, it's your go. Come on, pay attention to the game. Killing me. Um, yeah, it's going to have to be the Bloodcaster's going to have to go. Um, all oh, right, I threw. I think I'm just going to Blood Chief's Thirst and play the Voldaren. They can save it, though, can't they? But we got to get rid of that all in bulk anyways for when we board wipe. So that's okay. Yep, yeah, sacrifice your all in bulk. Yeah, okay. We'll play another Voldaren Bloodcaster here. And we'll have a couple of blockers, right? We just got to get to one of our, like, one of our path apparel. Sanguine Brushstroke would also be handy. 16 cards in, not one path apparel yet. Kind of unfortunate. What do they got? Sa they got to sacrifice a creature to bring something in, right? And then they're going to get this to flying. Yeah, they get another voice of the blessed. Oh, path of peril, please. Please. Please give me a path of peril. I mean, good God, it would be friggin' amazing right now, wouldn't it? Like, it would just be so out of control. <laughs> They're so happy with what's happening right now. Um, do I block? Yes. We get a couple blood tokens from that. Oh my god, man. Okay, we gotta dig. We gotta dig. Path of Peril, we get two shots at it and then still are able to proc it. There it is right there. That's how you get it done. <laughs> it took me 18 cards to get there, but uh, they have blockers anyways, right? So let's just do this right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Digging and digging. Just digging. We can't block their hive anyway, so we might as well put one huge damage on them. But now that we've done that, it's going to take them a long time to rebuild. They have, they have no card draw or anything in this deck. Now they just have a land, yeah. Yeah, they sack it to go to what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is good. This deck is good. It has so much resiliency. <laughs> so many ways to dig. They go for a Skyclave Cleric. Okay. Let's play that. We can start getting some more blood tokens, get some more life, too. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Five blood tokens. I like it. Oh, they get a Righteous Valkyrie. That's okay. It's fairly tough, but... Um, yeah, I guess we're just not going to block.
I sacrifice that. Yeah. I don't think we have any artifact killing in here, right? But I still think that we can start to overpower them here. Although they, if they get that, it helps quite a bit. I need a deadly dispute to get to some mana there, right? These guys are three. Yeah, a couple of those is maybe going to kill us. Um. What do I want to do? Path of Peril only wipes the blood artist. I guess we have to dig for a deadly dispute, but we can't really dig because we don't have enough cards to dig, right? <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, we're, we're still going to have to do it. Okay, we get a Voldaren Bloodcaster, which... I don't know if it's really what we want, though. I mean, really, we have to get to a Deadly Dispute. So we can have mana cast one of our path apparel we still have one or two left right i think we just got to keep going or we're just gonna die getting more sanguine brush strokes is also pretty good for us okay <laughs> more land Pretty soon we're going to run out of blood tokens and they're going to kill us with their righteous Valkyries, though. <sighs> okay, let's pass the turn. They get a hive, okay. It's a flipping 7-7 seven, seven hive. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what? Seven, six, and six, which is going to be 19 damage. What can, what can help us here? Yeah, I guess we have to do this. Deadly dispute. This is a good game. Didn't quite, didn't quite get there. I don't, I don't see us having much of a chance here because I've had to give away too much of my land. Okay, a meat hook is not really what we want either because we don't have enough mana. Um, so they got 14 on board. Path apparel doesn't get us anywhere. Well, they, they've got 12 and then they've got you know that plus seven plus seven blood chiefs would have been nice early hmm yeah i don't think there's anything else we can do meat hook doesn't help us more land does not help us either i mean technically yeah we can't survive another turn anyways 7, 6, 13, 20. I could technically get to a little bit more life, but that's it. We're going to concede. Good game. Okay, opponent goes first. We have a very, very good hand. The only problem is we can't sack anything with that, but we still have a Blood Chief's Thirst. We have a board wipe. We have a gluttonous guest. Uh, of course. We're playing against friggin' is it. Okay, they play three lands and do nothing. And we have a pretty poor hand against them, actually. And extremely poor. They divide it. <laughs> I guess you had nothing better to do. You cursed son of a... I wanted to be able to deadly dispute here. Yep, 
Here's the Shattered Sanctum. We have to play the Gluttonous Guest. They do nothing this time. Good. Okay. Pass the turn. Is it such a fun deck? <laughs> oh my god. I wonder what they're actually playing in here. It may not just be turns or something. I shouldn't be a jerk. <laughs> Where's my field of ruin here? Okay, so what do we want to do first? I guess we just attack here, right? See if they do anything. Um, we want a main phase because if we do, we get life when we sack a blood token. So we're just going to main phase this. It's better overall. We just replace our blood token and we draw cards. Um, yeah, we don't want to sack a creature, so. Now we can deadly dispute again. Environmental sciences. Ooh, exciting. Exciting stuff here. They get a wandering mind. Okay. We're just going to, yeah, we're going to deadly dispute this turn. Are they going to do a turns move on us? You gonna take some extra turns here or what? Oh, they got Discover the Formula. What a good card. I love that card. Let's get this going here. Draw a bunch more cards. Okay. Get a whole heap of land. <laughs> and they have no mana. Oh, I guess I have to pay the full amount here. Um, do I have anything else to do? I can attack with a hive of the eye tyrant instead. I mean, it can't actually kill any of my creatures. If they turns on me, though, I probably want to reduce the damage first. Yeah. Okay. And we got a flyer up too. You have to foretell now to get a bunch of birds though, so I don't think we're in a ton of trouble. They're very specifically tapping things. They discover the formula. It makes a lot of things cheaper. It's a great card. Especially once you start cycling things. Very good. We have drawn a heck of a lot of land. Six, nine land out of 17 cards. That is too much. I need to start getting one of my, like, win cons here. <laughs> they abrade the Voldaren Bloodcaster. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's funny how you can have, like, it feels like almost all good cards, and then you somehow just don't get what you need. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be good for us. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Discover the formula go. We don't want them to shuffle it back in. They have that new card where you can shuffle cards or you can take four cards out of your graveyard and put them back in and then discover the formula just keeps making everything cheaper and you just cycle, cycle, cycle. They burn down the house. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We have lots. We have ways to get it out of the graveyard. We have a bunch of different things we can do. Okay, let's start uh, cycling cards, I guess. Let's play a land. I, uh, yeah, I have two hives anyway, so it's okay. 
normally you would just wait in case they, you know, fading hoped or something. Divide by zero on the hive. They abrade it. Okay. Okay, let's uh let's dig. I think Path of Peril is like probably more dead than anything else, but we have two land, so let's just do that. Let's go dig in. Restless Bloodseeker is good. Yeah, let me start making some more blood tokens. Let's see if they have something for it. They divide it. Okay. Doesn't actually cost us anything, basically, except a one damage attack. Not too concerned about that. Let's see if they... Uh, they should probably attack with their hull here, right? Yeah, instead they just discover. Okay. You just keep spending your mana on that. I'll just keep damaging you. 20 cards in. <laughs> oh, that was very delayed, wasn't it? They only have two mana, but things can cost less now. So... Rather get this going than attack with my hive at this point. Um, and then, yeah, I think we're just gonna dig and ditch the swamp here. Okay, create two blood tokens. Ooh, hello. I would actually, yeah. Another Sanguine's going to give us so much extra gas if we can just get it through. Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Yeah, if we can just get it through. Um, yeah. I'm like, not confident I can get it through, but let's try a Restless Bloodseeker first. See if we can flush anything out. Okay, and uh, there's only one thing to do, and that's to go for it here, right? There's nothing else to do. I'm sure they'll have something. They probably haven't absorbed the energy, something along those lines. If they don't, they're in big trouble. I know and the only other option is to play it twice and if they have a divide, right? Of course. Playing it twice would have been better than sickening. That makes me sick. Um, let's sacrifice one. Um Yeah, let's get rid of Blood Chiefs then since they got they have a mascot here. Okay, we get a land. Um, do I want to play it? I don't think so. Yeah, I discover the formula again. Everything gets super cheap. <laughs> but you do have to try and win the game somehow. They fading hope one. Okay, then. Okay. I guess they don't want me to make blood tokens, and that's totally fair. <laughs> they expressive. I really need a meat hook or something, too. I haven't caught any meat hooks, right? They can attack with one haul of storm giants. And the geist channel now. <laughs> Okay, then. Okay, then. They haven't put anything back from their graveyard into their hand, though. Two divides, looks like, right? Three divides. Uh, 
Okay, we get a deadly dispute. So they know we have the sanguine, so we just start with it. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, now we get to play this. And we get to play a Restless Bloodseeker. They magma opus it. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just, should I deadly dispute it? Or should I deadly dispute one of my tokens? Just one of the tokens, right? Like I actually want to do that. Okay. Okay. And they get their token. Um, I can just blood chiefs it, I guess. Um, probably. I already played a land here. Or do I just want to keep the blood chiefs to... I don't really want them to put a lot of damage on me here. Feel the rune though is so good right now too. Just pass. We're not in any danger of dying. Zero. They fading hope it. <laughs> okay. They're still nowhere near. I think, what do you need? You need 14 mana to run both of those. My mascot, okay. What do I throw away here? One, two, three, four. Um... The Field of Ruin or the, the Blood Chiefs, right? This takes out everything they have here. Let's just keep knocking them down here. <laughs> we get a meat hook. <laughs> a meat hook. Um, let's flush. Let's flush them out here. Uh, what do I need? I need four, right? Seven, eight. So I have to spend six mana. I have enough to do both. I play the Field of Ruin. That gets me to five, eight, nine, ten total mana. So we spend six here, right? One, two, three, four. See what they do. And then we still have enough to Path of Peril. <laughs> nice. And let's play a Restless Blood Seeker. And let's get a Blood Token. Oh, we're pretty close. Man, I keep hitting my cord here on my chair. Sorry about that. We still have a Path of Peril for them, too, if we want. <laughs> Your deck. Doesn't really do a lot. <laughs> you got all these spells. Like, I don't even... What do they even have in here? Are they just going to all runs me to death now? Oh, they're going to leer me? <laughs> I guess. I guess that's one way to win. So they just get to divide everything I have now. But and then I just play it again, right? And make more tokens. They abraid the restless blood seeker. Okay, yeah. It only goes to a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. I guess let's uh, do this right now. They're at 2. We get a blood fountain. 
They can divide both of these, I guess. But are they just not seeing it? I guess, uh, yeah, okay. All right. They have two mana, so they can maybe divide twice here, right? So one, we can attack with an uh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So if we do that, they Fading Hope, it costs them one mana, right? Then we play a Blood Fountain, and we can do some damage to them. Um, and we have a Gluttonous Guest, right? So let's start here. They're going to have to deal with it. Yeah, they abrade it, Kate. Cost them one mana. We do a damage. And then we Gluttonous Guest. And then next turn, they're going to start um, shoving things back in our hand, right? Because they've got all those. So is it Blood Fountain and bring back two creatures to my hand? Or is it Gluttonous Guest? I think it's probably Blood Fountain because they can't stop even if they shove it back into my hand. Yeah, they divide one, Kate. That's fine. I wish I had some way to sack my blood tokens without paying here. Um, I guess we're going to discard the Path of Peril. I mean, I could always kill Lear afterwards, right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We get another Path of Peril. Resting. We're at 34. They're at 3. Pretty epic game. Can we pull it off? Yeah, they kill one Sanguine. Man, 27 cards left. They have 22. <laughs> we hit our third path of peril. Thank you. Thanks so much for that. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are you going to do now? You don't have unlimited gas. Blood Fountain can also bring back my other blood artist. Right? So I have four, eight mana. They can divide this. Let's play a land. So let's, yeah, let's play Sanguine Brushstroke here. It's, yeah, not sorcery speed either. I can path a peril and I would, they would literally take two damage. <laughs> but they would just divide it. So I can't actually do that. How much mana do they have? They have four mana. But I think, yeah, they divide it, Kate. Okay. They gotta keep using all their stuff, though. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Now we have a lot of things we can do here, right? So we can start sacking our blood tokens again. We can Path of Peril, right? And they have to divide it because they will die if, if they don't. And they scoop. <laughs> See, uh, 